welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to tell you 10 things you might not know about me. So I thought it would be fun to tell you just a little bit about myself. My channel is not so much geared toward my home life and toward me and my family, and so, um, I thought it would be kind of fun to just do a little video that tells you just a little bit more about me. Um, some of you might already know some of these things because you're very close to me, we're friends, or we're family, and so you probably know pretty much all of this. But then there's some out there who I have never met in my life, or who I have just started to get to know here on YouTube, and I thought it would be fun for them to kind of know a little bit about my history as well as my um, just everyday life um, in general. So here we go, 10 things you might not know about me. The first thing is I was born in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, I do not have a southern draw because when I was quite young, my family moved away from North Carolina and we moved up north. And so I was in the northern part of the United States and the north northeast pretty much, um, United States. And so I do not have that Southern draw and that is why. The second thing that you might not know about me is that I grew up in a pastor's home. I did reference this back in one of my other videos, but um, I just thought I would share that information in this one as well. I grew up in a pastor's home. My dad um, is still a Baptist preacher and he um, is still my favorite preacher. <laughs> So um, that is number two. So number three is I get up with my husband when he has to be at work early in the morning. I still get up with my husband and I make his breakfast, I make his lunch, and I see him off to work. That is not something that I think every wife should do. It's just something that I chose to do for my husband to show him that I really care about his needs and that he is special to me. It's just something that I have chosen to do. It's not something that everybody would want to do, but it's something I enjoy doing for my husband and I enjoy showing him I care by doing that. So that's number three. Number four is my husband and I, we were married for seven years before we had any kids. We did not choose to have seven years of marriage before we had kids. The Lord chose to um, make it harder for us to have children. So we went through fertility treatments. It took four years from the time we started trying until the time that the Lord blessed us with our son, um, Silas. So that is number four. Number five, we have one son but we also have two other children in heaven. Um, before my son was born, through all the fertility treatments, we were we found out we were expecting, and we were almost through the first trimester, and we had a miscarriage. Then, after the miscarriage, um, we went back in to have more fertility treatments done, and we got pregnant with my son, and then, Actually, at Thanksgiving this past year, um, my husband and I found out we were expecting. We were trying, but we hadn't gone through any treatments or anything, and we found out we were expecting kind of in a hard way. Um, I was told that I had a tubal pregnancy, and they did an ultrasound and found out that I was bleeding internally, and if they didn't go in for surgery, I would have died. And so they um, took me in for surgery and had to take the pregnancy, obviously. And so we have a second child in heaven. And it was a hard time at Thanksgiving, but the Lord gives us grace and he gives us mercy. And I know it is renewed every single day and he shows his love. But anyway, on to number six. I don't like chocolate. <laughs> A lot of people have a hard time figuring out how I can just not like chocolate. I will say I don't mind drinking like white hot chocolate and I don't mind eating York peppermint patties, 
but I like peppermint so much that, and the chocolate that is on York peppermint patties is so thin and it's so dark. It's such a different kind of chocolate that I can handle eating that. Like I like York peppermint patties and I like drinking white hot chocolate, but that is it. The next thing is I love to sing and play the piano. I grew up in a pastor's home and because of that, I learned to sing in front of people all the time. I was always singing specials, whether it was with my sisters or as a solo. And I also learned to play the piano. I pretty much taught myself for the most part. I had to learn because we needed a pianist in our church. And so I played lots of hymns and lots of things I would play hours and hours every single day if I could. But um, with a two-year-old, I don't always get that opportunity. But I still sing in our church and I enjoy every time I get to be up and to minister to people through song. The next thing is, I, if I could go back to school, I would take photography. I love photography and I really appreciate those who can do so much with a camera. And I really enjoy um, just viewing people's pictures and how they how they get certain angles and, and things like that with their camera. And I would do that if I could. Number nine is if I could have as many kids as I wanted. Now, we've had to go through fertility treatments to have children. So I don't think we're going to ever be able to have this many kids, but I would love to have five kids if I could. I don't think we, it will ever happen, but I do, I love kids and I know we only have one, but I do, I love kids and I would love to have five kids if we could. My husband would love to have three kids. <laughs> So who knows, maybe we'll have four, I don't know. Right now we have one and that's what the Lord has blessed us with. We have two up in heaven, so maybe, who knows, maybe between all the babies that we have in heaven and the ones the Lord is going to give us on earth, maybe we'll have five. So anyways, that is number nine. Number 10, my husband and I care for bees. We have um, a few hives that my husband and I help take care of and so we have honey all through the summer and we store it up for winter. Sometimes we're able to sell it to friends and family and so that they can enjoy it as well. We, um, it wasn't something that we always wanted to do, but it kind of got us encouraged to try new things. And so those are just 10 things about me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. For those who are new to this channel, I hope that you'll subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. And for those who would like to comment, maybe give me just a little bit of information about you. It doesn't have to be anything, just something that you like to do, a hobby of yours, whatever it is. I like to hear from you and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.